Hey guys, so now that we have official production of the armrest, I wanted to do a new video going over everything that's included in the kit, how it's installed, what it'll look like, and a couple, one of the optional features that's going to be offered once uh, that piece is available. So to start, let me set my phone down. When you get your kit, it's going to come with one base plate, the armrest itself. Now there's different stitching options available. Interior pocket. This also slides for adjustability. Then you'll also come with this, I don't really know what you want to call this piece. It's part of the base plate. The sliding bracket that this upper box mounts to. And then there will be for these black ones, or black screws, for these silver screws, you'll get three washers, three bolts, and some of these plastic clips. Now, when I designed this, this is entirely designed so that there is no cutting or damage to your vehicle at all. That was kind of the main selling point of where I was going when I thought of designing this, was I didn't want anyone needing to cut their seat material, which I've seen for the Yaris kit, and if someone wanted to take the car into the dealership, it was easily removable. If someone wanted to go to the track, it's easily removable. Uh, any number of options. So, to start, I've already had this installed. I took it out so that I can go over everything. So, to begin, when you get to this area, there's a rubber pad here. So, let me find my butter knife. Okay. You will... Take, I'm using a butter knife in this instance, kind of slide it down the edge here, and just pop this up. It is just held in place with some little rubber kind of pop-in uh, mold or molded pieces. Once that is out of the way, you will be, excuse me for my kit light, what you're going to see underneath is just an assortment of holes and other things. So, next stage, you will take these little clips, there's going to be three of them, you're going to push one, should be a nice little click in, two, and three. So, that'll be your first stage, as you can see, they just kind of fit in there, they're nice and tight, you can spin them, if you really put a lot of effort in, wouldn't recommend it, you don't need to. Make sure that they are lined up in parallel with the rest of the center console. Then, next step will be taking this base plate. You'll notice on the bottom side, there are square cutouts or square uh, debosses. I'm sure this is kind of fairly self-explanatory. You will place it in here. The white pins will fit into those square holes on the back. And then um, at this point, you know, You'll see it can obviously move and it's got a little bit of wiggle room. Um, you will take your three washers. They'll sit inside the recess at the top. So one, two, three. Then you will take each one of your screws. Just kind of set them in. I just tighten them by hand. One, two, and three. Then I take Phillips head screwdriver, and what I did for mine, I just made sure that, so this center console is not perfectly, it kind of tapers outwards, so you kind of just want to line this piece up. I kind of have mine this direction, if that makes sense. This way the armrest is straight when it's installed. So at that point, once I have it kind of seated where I want, tighten it down so it's snug. Tighten the second one down so it's snug, and then I leave the third one in the center for last since the two outer ones are giving you your kind of positioning. Once that's tightened, base plate is installed and you are good to go. The next step will be 
you will take this piece right here and this will seat in here now in this area let me try to get a little bit of light you'll see those four lower holes those are going to be the ones that are mounting to the base plate at the bottom so i would recommend getting kind of one screw set in place and that will be these silver ones right here so in my situation i like just putting one through and then lining it up so that i know that it is in the correct spot at which point i can see that it's there i'm gonna swap out benefits to an 11 in one screwdriver so then once i know it's in the correct spot I'll tighten this one down just a little bit so that it doesn't come out. Then I will take the second one, make sure that it's lined up correctly, and place it in place. Tighten it down. Make sure those are snug at this point because the other two will already be lined up. Once those are in and snug, you can take your other ones, place them in place, and tighten those down as well. Now, at this point, this is on here. This is all solid. Any flexing you see is just the side here. You will then take this. This sits in. You have four black screws. Let me set these off to the side so you can kind of line this up. You'll end up seeing that the bottom side of this hole has kind of a taper on the back side. That taper will fit into the hole on the top here. So it's kind of a, a nice way to be able to tell whether your piece is lined up correctly or not. It makes life just a little bit easier. Then, again, this just tightens in. I recommend doing them crossing. This way you don't end up going too far down on one side then tighten all four and basically the entire installation is more or less done so you'll see here You've got rail tracks. The opening for the rail tracks will always be towards the back because the armrest will fit in and slide this way. Uh, otherwise, it's going to be backwards and you're going to run into some other kind of weird issues. So just keep that in mind. Openings for the rails towards the back of the car. Now, this is the piece I'm going to show you is pre production. They're working on it right now. So this is a sample piece. So mine is a twill carbon fiber. The one that will actually be released is going to be a forged carbon fiber to match the roof of the Circuit Edition and the Marizo Edition. Um, obviously, all of us like a little bit of carbon fiber, so I had no issues with the fact that I have a core, and that doesn't matter to me. So, the main thing that you are looking for here is that if you look, this hole is not quite on center because the armrest, or excuse me, the base plate, is not exactly centered because of the hole location in the basically this rectangular piece where this base plate is sitting is not the same dimensions at top and bottom they are two different dimensions it's just part of the design from toyota so now this plate this plate 
literally will just kind of slide in here and just sit. So now, in this situation, you can see how this is just kind of a decorative piece and it also gets rid of that kind of upright little um, tray where the washer's held and just makes this a flush surface. So if you want to put business cards or something else on here, change, uh, that's entirely at your discretion. So next and final part will be the armrest box. Now on here, you'll see that there is two legs that essentially will fit into the two tracks here. Now, hold on, I'm gonna set this down. We will put this in place, kind of line up where the legs are, you should feel it, and then it'll slide forward. Now, I slide this not all the way forward, only I keep mine somewhere right around this distance. So it has some room to, you know, be pushed forward more if need be, but it's not pushed all the way forward. And that is basically it. So this now has the option to slide forward here. If you need more room, slides back, opens additional storage space. And since a lot of people have asked, there is plenty of room for access to the type C and all the chargers. There's no, there's no blockage there. You know, you got plenty of space for rear passengers to charge or if you want to charge your stuff or anything along those lines. So anyway, thanks for going along with the new install video and uh, bye bye.